In this video, we are going to discuss about index match. Uh, basically, it is considered to be an alternative to VLOOKUP uh, and uh, especially in cases where the database is very large and uh, there's a reference point which you want to search upon is somewhere in the middle of the database and you want to search on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. So it provides lots of flexibility in this index match function. So if you want to follow along with me, please do download the data which is given in the description below and uh, let's get started. Hello everyone. The topic for today is index match. So like always, we'll divide the session into three parts, the problem, solution, and the usage. So where do you use index match? So what is the problem that arises that you have to start using index match? Index match is particularly used for large databases with a lot of uh, rows and columns where uh, VLOOKUP will obviously work, but index match will give you that added advantage. A database in which your unique value is located centrally so that you, you can do a index match either on the right side as well as on the left side. So VLOOKUP only goes from left to right. So index match goes all the way from right to left or left to right either ways. So if your unique value is located at a central column. So these are the two places where most probably you will be using index match. Now let's come at our solution. So how do you use index match? So I'll quickly take you through this database. On the left side of the employee number, so D column is the employee number. On the left side of it is the employee information, which is employee name, the department and the city. And on the right side of it is the sales numbers, the value of the revenue sales of the employee what he has done for that particular month. So now what you want to do is obviously we look up won't work for the left sided columns. So that's why you use index match. Now let's straight jump into the formula. The formula starts with equal to index. Index is the first part of the formula. Inside index match will come. So as you can see there are three parts to this formula which is array, row number and column number. So what is array? Array is simply the entire database. You select the entire database from top to bottom and just lock it comma now you want to see what the row number is okay now let's see what the row number is so match we have to match the row number so row number will be the employee number over here so employee number 200 you have to take so where so employee after employee number 200 you do a comma which then gives you the lookup array so what is the lookup array now lookup array is where is the employee number located in this entire database that you have selected it's located in the D column. So you select the entire D column from start to bottom till the employee number is there comma zero close bracket. Now you want to find the column number. So where is the column number? So I want to use employee name. So I can do a match match what I have the header employee number comma so look up array what is the where is the column it's located in this first row so i'll just select the entire first row again lock it comma zero why zero as you can see one is less than zero is exact match and again one is greater than that's where zero zero we have put it on the row match as well double close the bracket and enter now you get the employee name so the employee name for number 200 is quickly check manually if the answer that we got is correct it is van net that's right so now let's look at a factor where we are adding to the left side of the row okay so employee name was one left now we are looking at department which is the second left Again, I'll take you through the formula because it is a bit complicated. I'll again show you the formula with the uh, internal aspects. So index, open brackets. So what is the array? Obviously, the entire part is this entire database is the array. Lock it, comma. So what is the row number now? Row number comes under match. You put a match again, bracket open. Inside match, there is lookup value, lookup array and match type so i want a row number so row is basically the employee number which is your 
employee number 200 we want the department to lock it comma where is the employee number which is the lookup array inside the array what you are finding the employee number select the entire employee number from top to bottom comma zero zero because we want the exact match now for column number what do we want we want department i select department okay before that just adding match because it is come it comes under match selecting department comma then the lookup array is the first row i select that entirely lock it comma zero zero because we need exact match enter and that is the whole sales department so these were standard static uses of index match now finally i'll show you one more use which is basically not static it is basically a variable aspect where if you change a particular thing automatically the number changes so here as you can see in column v i have done a small data validation of all the months now here i will put an index match to find out the employee number sales for a particular month so now it's december again index match again i'll show it to you because it is a bit complicated so array remember array is nothing but the entire database you want to put the index match formula to comma what is row number row number is the employee code so before that just put match you want the employee number comma and where is the employee number located in column d right from top to bottom just select it lock it and zero why because exact match always remember zero is for exact match again now match now match what i want to match december sales that's what i want so i'm selecting december locking it doing a now selecting the lookup array which is the row number one i select the row number one i again lock this as well comma zero which is exact match and double close the bracket and i've got the december number now the most uh, important thing about this is basically you don't have to put the formula again if you want the jan number what you can do is just select jan from here and you've got the jan number which is around eight thousand dollars if you want to see the june july august number there you've got which is around 112 dollars so this is very dynamic index match is very dynamic it basically helps you take data out from a vast database and show it as per your needs which we look up can but uh, index match does it better because it goes from left to right and right to left now quickly coming to the usage of index match where index match uh, is uh, particularly used it's used uh, most importantly in uh, databases which are related to revenue and sales because for huge companies a lot of sales employees are there and a lot of revenue numbers are there may be it weekly monthly daily etc it's basically used for sales databases where huge number of employee data is there followed by it's also used for employee information which a lot of companies nowadays store in their ehris so that when the dump comes the dump is very huge so this is it's used for system databases for example the employee database is stored in a ehris or hris system which basically has all the information of the employee and that databases require index match because it lets you do quickly things which we look up can but index match does it better system databases so these are the particular two usages of index match hope index match goes well with you all you must practice index match a lot but it is not as easy as we look up try and practice index match so that you get very familiar with it and you start using it more I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like, comment and share this with others too. We do come up with lots of finance and excel videos almost on a daily basis. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe so that you get the notification as soon as we release a new one. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.